Yellowstone Supervolcano is one of the most dynamic sites on Earth. With the news of a 100-foot fissure causing closures in nearby Grand Teton National Park. The giant fissure in Grand Teton, Wyoming, has prompted officials to shut down areas of the park in case of rock falls. The park said in a statement, the area was closed to protect human safety on July 10 after expanding cracks in a rock buttress were detected. It is unknown how long the closure will be in effect. Geologists are monitoring the buttress for movement and have initiated a risk assessment for the area. Grand Teton does not sit directly above Yellowstone's magma chambers, but the whole area is susceptible to ground movement due to geological activity, so cracks are not unusual. While the fissure is likely the result of normal seismic activity in the area, any movement relating to Yellowstone prompts concern over what could be the most catastrophic eruption of all time. The U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, has a color-coded alert level for all its volcanoes, ranging from green, normal, to red, eruption imminent or underway. Yellowstone is at green level, so there is no cause for concern. However, the volcano is certainly not extinct and continues to put on an impressive display of activity. The steamboat geyser has entered a period of frequent massive water eruptions but these have no implications for future volcanic eruptions. And in June 2018 alone, 76 earthquakes were detected in the Yellowstone National Park region. Every year, the Yellowstone caldera, a large cauldron-like hollow, subsides a few centimeters, a pattern that began in 2015. While the supervolcano hasn't seen an active eruption in 664,000 years, scientists consider it worth monitoring constantly. A supervolcano is thousands of times more powerful than a regular volcano and could result in changes felt across the globe. While the chances of this happening are very low, in 2014 a team of scientists publishes a paper exploring what a Yellowstone supereruption might look like. In the hypothetical report, the scientists found the eruption would be preceded by massive, unmissable warning signs. NASA has released out-of-this-world images showing views of U.S. national parks from space. Intense seismic activity would be felt across the whole park, with the earthquakes taking weeks or months to break up the rocks above the magma. When the eruption finally came it would be 1,000 times more powerful than a regular volcanic eruption. The volcano would eject at least 240 cubic miles of material, and lava wouldn't be the problem. A pyroclastic flow would cause volcanic ash to be ejected miles into the air and scattered across the whole of the United States. Yellowstone volcano eruption This could conceivably bury the northern Rockies in three feet of ash and devastate the states of Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and Utah. The Midwest and both coasts would get a few inches of ash. This amount of ash would be devastating. It could kill people, plants, animals, crush buildings and flatten cities. Even outlying areas would feel the impact, with farms destroyed, roads and sewers blocked and respiratory problems aggravated. Yellowstone volcano eruption, a volcanic eruption that big would also have major effects on the global climate. Volcanoes can emit sulfur aerosols that reflect sunlight back into the atmosphere cool the climate. Don't worry too much though however, despite fears an eruption could be imminent, the apocalypse is not upon us. The USGS says the odds of Yellowstone erupting are 0.00014%, lower than the odds of getting hit by a civilization-destroying asteroid. In fact, some say that the supervolcano may never erupt again.